We've just reflected on our, our performance against Annan and had look, a look at bits and pieces uh, a bit sterling. And obviously we start training tonight, so train tonight, train Thursday, a bit of pre-match analysis on Thursday and hopefully ready to go. Clear a few injuries up would be a bonus for Saturday. How the squad looking after last week? We were a wee bit thin last Saturday to be honest, we never really made a meal of it or spoke too much about it, we just concentrated on the players that were fit. But last week we were obviously missing Antel and Black who have been long term, McIntyre, Sinclair, uh, Aidan Wilson was listed but wasn't he fit. Um, Chris Kane was absent, so yeah, one or two, one or two that we could do with coming back. And of course, the the, the trialist keeper um, situation is that any way to get resolved at all for this week? Yeah, well, that's another one. Aidan McAdams is obviously out after the Cove game. He's still going to be out, so we'll need to rely on uh, a trialist playing again, and hopefully, he he does as well as he did last Saturday. Um. Again, Stirling had a useful draw at Queen's Park last week. How do you expect this game to be played? Yeah, it's a, a tough place to go. We, we beat them at home narrowly. They've struggled at the start of the season, but I think when they were bottom of the league, they, only, they were only losing games by a goal. There was nothing in it. I think they've got some decent players. Um, we have to be wary of them. They're capable of beating any team in the league, I think, Stirling. It's just maybe a run that they've been on or a position that they find themselves in. So we'll certainly not be going there taking anything for granted. Um, we'll try and go there and pick up three points. Obviously, we're in good spirits with the last couple of games. Um, they got a point at Hamden where we got none, so um, we have to be mindful of our opposition, give them the credit that they're due, and still try and take the game to them and win the game. And that bottom half of the league is still very tight, though, uh, with, all the, with all the teams in. Yeah, I've said since before the season started, I think all the teams are capable of beating each other. I think there's obviously two big parts of the season if you get off to a good start. It settles you down, and then if you get a good finish to the season, then you can make the playoffs or go for the title. And the first part of ours has been very positive. 35 points is a great return um, after 16 games. We want to try and get that to 38. Um, and then obviously be in contention after Christmas. We were in contention after last Christmas, and we got hit, as we know, by injuries. But this time we want to be in the same position and see if we can improve and learn for last season. But certainly at the bottom. We've not had any easy games against any of those teams. You know, Albion, Brecon, St still in Albion, um, Stenhouse, Muir, all the teams that have sort of been down there at one point or another. There's no easy games, so we'll be not taking anything for granted come Saturday. As we enter Christmas in the year, I mean, how do you approach the break with the players? Is there anything different happening in terms of, you know, when, when you get them back or is it still same routines? Well, we just kind of miss a training session. Um, yeah, there's a break for everybody, but we, apart from us, I suppose. But we struggle to train, train because of facilities um, in the festive period on the Tuesdays. So that can sometimes be a good thing because the players may be a wee bit fresher. Um, so we'll struggle to train those two Tuesdays over the, the two-week festive period, and we'll just bring them in on the Thursday. We'll train Boxing Day. Um, so it's it's one of those ones that's quite a big commitment. Obviously, to come away for your family on Boxing Day morning, but. It shows a commitment to the players and uh, and the staff, so they'll be in and trying to get ready for Cowden Beat on Boxing Day. And then again at New Year, we'll be in on the 2nd of January, again preparing for a trip away.